these disorders can be very complex. And so the way that I look at FMD, which I'll be speaking about in my, in my presentation is that, you know, the surface phenotype that we see as a neurologist, so a tremor, for example, or seizures or a gait disorder or dystonia, these are only what's happening on the surface. There's a lot more going on um, that is related to why this condition has happened at that time and what is driving and maintaining the symptoms. And so what we're moving towards in the field now, those of us who do these kind of more integrated and interdisciplinary rehab models realize that the initial in-depth assessment is super important. And that assessment is different from a standard neurological assessment or a standard psychiatric assessment. It's actually kind of in this gray space in between. And there are relevant factors really only for FND that can be treated if they're picked up and kind of formulated correctly, right? So this, this really is how you get long-term sustained recovery from FND, what we're knowing, what we're seeing is that, you know, if a person comes with functional tremor, for example, and we just treat the tremor and focus on the tremor, but miss that there is a really important component of anxiety, they'll still have symptoms long-term they will not recover from. And so it's about really understanding what is the engine that is driving this disorder and targeting that as opposed to targeting the kind of surface phenotype there. If you want long-term recovery, that's, that's how I see this condition. And I think others in the field to do this work, you know, would probably agree. Um, although it is something that we're learning more and more about every day. So the information is really growing.